A Somali rebel group says it has now taken control of a strategic port town and major pirate hub. Hezbollah Islam fighters had been advancing on Haradere for weeks and entered without a fight when pirates there fled. It's now concern for three international ships and 60 crew who were being held at the port. Elsewhere, there's been a wave of attacks on mosques. An explosion killed at least one person and wounded 10 worshippers in the port city of Kismayo on Sunday. A day earlier, twin blasts at a mosque in Mogadishu claimed more than 30 lives and injured dozens and a landmine killed one person outside another mosque in the capital on Tuesday. To discuss these developments even further, I'm joined by Dr. Afaya Elmia, Somali commentator and uh, also professor of international politics at Qatar University. Thank you very much for talking to us. Let's start off with these mosque attacks. I mean, that's something new in the country. The implications are frightening. Who do you think is behind that? Well, actually, this has been expected for a long time because Somalia has been going toward this, this direction where a number of groups that are fighting each other are still trying to control a portion of the country or one way or another. So there was uh, some uh, problems and in fact if you look back uh, what was happening in Afghanistan and, and Iraq basically this was expected the logical uh, conclusion was that uh, the Somali somehow insurgent groups one way or another would turn to each other and fight uh, in this way uh, and the masks uh, I mean the well, this is very unfortunate. It, it shows that there is no sacred place that uh, will be respected. And in fact, particularly at the prayer time where everybody is uh, coming to the mosque, not just the person or the people that are being uh, targeted. So this is, this is a nasty uh, face that the conflict is given at this stage. Is this because of the split now between Hezbollah Islam and Al-Shabaab? Is that what's well, happening? Well, uh, Shabaab has blamed uh, Western security uh, I mean, companies that are present in Mogadishu, according to their uh, position. But uh, most analysts believe that this infighting between insurgent groups, whether it's between Al Shabaab or between Hezbollah Islam and Shabaab or between other groups that are splinter groups, no one knows yet. But uh, so far, the information that I'm getting is that it's infighting. Another dramatic and very disturbing development is Hezbollah Islam storming into Haradiri. Now, that's piracy turf. Hundreds of millions of dollars are in that area because of uh, piracy action. Is Hezbollah Islam there to eradicate them because they disprove of their operations or to tap into the millions of dollars that they're getting? Well, actually, we have to understand the piracy and its source. The source was because of lack of authority in those parts of the country. And if you want to fight piracy, you have to fight at the ground level. Any authority established in Hardere or Hobio or those places that pirates use as a base is a welcome. Uh, particularly any Islamist group, no matter which, uh, whether uh, it's Shabab, Hezbollah Islam or government, uh, all of them do not condone piracy. Therefore, uh, if they are to... So, so you think they're going to keep their hands off all the money and the uh, well, uh, lucrative ways what, that the pirates what, have got in that area? Why well, would they storm that area? Well, they have a lot to gain by doing that, simply because they want to establish some credibility and they want to send a message that they are political actors. They have, by the way, uh, these groups have political ambitions and they want uh, the West to take them serious, if that is the case. And particularly if leaders of Hezbollah Islam go there, uh, I think chances are that piracy incidents will decrease. Okay, you, uh, say but no, so but yeah, you say it's going to decrease. Sorry, if I could quickly jump because I think we are running out of time. Do you think this will take an international flavor now, if there's not already an international flavor within the country? Because the pirates have sent off those ships that were at the port. They've put them on out to sea because they're frightened that Hezbollah Islam are going to try and board the ships, take the cargo. Do you think that international players or international governments will now get involved? I think they can do it in, a, in an easier way by just uh, uh, asking people not to go. Because pirates that are on, on the ship, they need uh, food to be taken or supplies to be taken to, on, on board. And if there is, uh, I mean, an authority that does not approve what they are doing, I don't think they can do that. Uh, in one way or another, I think the, the fear is not that uh, piracy will increase. The fear is that perhaps al-Shabaab may come to the town and then eventually some infighting will take place. And that is actually a potential uh, 
a problem that may somehow lead to another conflict there. And we have to remember here that Hezbollah Islam and Shabab collaborated in one area, but fought in another area. So, I mean, we don't know what they will do in Haradere. Will they fight there, or will they cooperate like they did in Hiran and Mogadishu? So these are still yet to be seen. Taking the role of the pirates. Let's wait and see. Fascinating. Well, uh, Afari Elmi, thank you very much for coming thank you and talking to us.